In this tutorial, you'll learn how to add, edit, and remove page content in Squarespace version 7.1. We're going to hop into edit mode by clicking on edit on the top left-hand side of our website preview. Here you'll be able to edit the content of your page. Anywhere you see add section will allow you to add a new section of content. Anywhere you see a plus sign means you can add a block of content to that section. There are three different types of sections in Squarespace. A standard page section where you can add multiple blocks of content and drag and drop them to rearrange. You also have a list section which creates list items and then a gallery section which features a gallery of images. To add a new section to your website, click on the add section option. And here you can click on any pre-made section or add a blank one. It's important to remember both list and gallery are different than standard page sections. Headline, images, quote, text, and video, these are all pre-built sections that you can customize. But list and gallery respond differently. You can't add blocks of content to those the way you can a standard section. Let's go ahead and click on this section right here, which is a headline template. Again, all of these templates are super customizable and can be rearranged. If you have a block of content that takes up more space than you want it to, you can use this slider to adjust it. Let's say we no longer want this background image. I'll click this edit page section icon, select background, and we'll go ahead and remove that image. To change the color theme, click on colors and select one of your predefined color themes for your website. There are lots of page section setting options and I have a link to a separate tutorial underneath this video. For right now, let's work on adding, removing, and rearranging the content on our page. Let's say we have this page section, but we want to add an image to the very top of it. I'll click this plus sign, and here I can add any block of content that I'd like. I'll go ahead and click on image, and clicking this plus sign, I can upload a file, select one from my library, or browse stock images. If you're doing this from your phone, you can also upload an image from your phone. I'll go ahead and select from library, and we'll click on an image that's already there on my website. You can change up the design of your image and you've got a lot of options here. Again, we're focused on adding, editing, and removing page content in Squarespace, so I'm not gonna dig into all of these details. Check out some of the related videos linked below for more information about the different content blocks. If you no longer want a block of content on your site, just click on it and select the trash icon to remove it. If you want to remove an entire page section, you can select the trash icon right there and you'll remove the entire section. Now don't forget, list and gallery sections work separately. You won't see this blue plus sign to add content or edit content in those individual sections. I have separate tutorials to walk you through each listed below. But one last time to add content to an existing page section on your Squarespace website, just click on the blue plus sign and select any content block you'd like. Let's go ahead and add a button to this block. And let's say I want the button to be on the right-hand side of this page section. I can click on the button and drag it over to the right-hand side. If I want this text to take up more space, I can use this slider to adjust the size of those content blocks so everything will fit the way that I want it to on my Squarespace website. To learn more about all the cool things you can do with Squarespace, head on over to insidethesquare.co. There you'll find hundreds of free tutorials just like this one. That's insidethesquare.co.